right guys, Brian with PS4 Trophies, and I'm going to show you how to quickly get the Hagler Trophy in Minecraft. Now this requires you to mine or purchase 30 emeralds. Now I'm loading up a tutorial world here. Uh, you can do this in a normal world if you want, but emerald is extremely rare and hard to find. But you can get this real quick and easily in a, a tutorial level here. So I'm just going to start one up, a new one. And then as soon as it loads, I'm going to actually exit out right away and then reload that save. Now when you do that, you'll skip all the introduction tutorial stuff here and you can go straight into the, uh, into the village. So once we uh, get in here, there's two ways that you can get this quite quickly. The first way is to go and trade for them. Now if you run up here and go into the first building on the right, there's going to be a trader. And there's also going to be a chest uh, right in front of them that you can get 60 paper from. So open up the chest, grab the paper, and put that into your inventory. And then you can trade and talk to this guy. And you can get two emeralds this way. So it's 30 paper for each, uh, each one of the emeralds. Now all you need to do uh, after you've done that is just exit, save and exit, and then start a new tutorial. And uh, if you start a new tutorial, you'll be able to go back and, and get two more. So moving on, the second way to do it is to get an enchanted uh, axe here. You want the pickaxe and you want to get the, the silk touch uh, enchantment on it. So I'm going to grab the potions and I'm going to just use these until I get up to level 15. So just keep using these, hit L2 to use them. And once your level is 14, uh, 15 or higher, here we go, you can now go and try to enchant the pickaxe. Now before I do that, I'm going to create a save point right here. So I'm going to exit the game, and it's going to create a save spot here. And then once I come into the game, I'm going to disable the autosave. The first thing you want to do is disable the autosave because the enchantments are random to which one you get. So if I don't get the enchantment I'm looking for, again, is Silk Touch, I'm going to exit out without saving and then uh, uh, come back in and try it again. So we're loading it up and then I'm gonna disable the auto save. Now when you go up to the enchantments here, go to the table and put your pickaxe in there. You need a level 14 or higher enchantment. So when you put it in there, as you can see, I don't have a level 14 enchantment, so I'm going to grab these books here, drag them over, and I have a level 14, so I'm going to click on that, scroll over, and we have Efficiency 2, not exactly Silk Touch. So I'm going to exit now without saving. Again, you got to make sure you disable autosave before you do that, and then try it again. So again, disable the autosave, and go ahead and put my pickaxe in there. And we're looking for, again, Silk Touch. Don't have a level 14, so I'm gonna go and grab these books, try to drop them in there. Keep changing it until there's a 14 or higher. There we go. Now click on that, and let's see what we got. Silk Touch 1, all right. That's what we're looking for. So what we're gonna do is put that back in our inventory, and now we're gonna go find a Emerald Ore. Now with the Silk Touch, it's gonna allow you to mine it, and then uh, put it back and then allow you to keep mining it again. Let's grab some torches here as well. So we're going to go to the location. I got it uh, marked on the upper left corner there. Uh, X103, Y20, Z minus 28. So I kind of get there by going over here. It's going to be underneath, not this lake, but the next lake that we come to. So yeah, ore is, uh, emerald ore is extremely hard to find. Uh, but there's actually going to be a few pieces where we're going. So I'm just going to go and dig down right here. And this is going to drop us into a cave. There we go. So I'm going to just kind of loop around here to the right and follow this path to another waterfall. And I can't get out of here for the life of me. <laughs> there we go. So I'm going to follow this path around. I know it's a, a little dark. Should probably have used the candle, the torch there, but oh well. We're going to come to a, another waterfall over here, and then we're going to drop down this waterfall. Use this, and then you're going to come to a landing. So you don't want to go all the way down to the bottom. There's a landing down here you want to aim for, 
If you miss it and fall to the bottom, you can actually use the waterfall and swim back up. But right over here is an emerald, and there's also one over across the way there. So with the uh, pickaxe with uh, the silk touch, we can mine it and pick it up and replace the emerald ore. Let me uh, organize my inventory here. So there we go. We're going to mine it, pick it up, and now we can replace it. So all you need to do is just rinse and repeat and do this, uh, well, 30 times minus uh, however many emeralds you've already previously got. Now you can do this in a normal world if you want to get the uh, Silk Touch uh, pickaxe uh, enchantment. Uh, feel free, but doing it in the tutorial, uh, it's pretty easy. The emerald is always going to be here, at least on the PS4 version. I'd imagine Xbox One as well. I know this uh, map is slightly different with some of the locations from the uh, earlier versions, like the PS3 version, but this is definitely on PS4. So we're just going to keep doing this over and over. And that trophy should be popping up here momentarily. Again, you don't have to have the emerald all on you. You just have to mine it or trade for it uh, 30 times. It's a cumulative total over uh, all of your different games that you've played. Should pop up here any moment. And there we go. There's the trophy. So I want to thank you guys for watching. If you like the video, hit that like button, leave a comment, and subscribe.